Hey guys, welcome back to the Random Gear channel. Today we're taking a look at a uh, pretty cool watch. It's actually a homage watch to the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak uh, Offshore watch. Now, um, quite surprisingly, this watch is only about $40 in American dollars. And it's really good quality. I'm, I'm really like, it's really crazy how they can make something so cheap. I mean, even the band is really nice. So, um, yeah, some basic stuff about this watch. It's obviously a homage or, a, you know, whatever you want to call it, of the AP Royal Oak Offshore watch. It's a, from a brand called D. Dunn Design, and they come from Asia. And uh, they're really good quality for, for $40. I'm not lying here. Um, you have your typical bezel here in the shape of the portal of, I believe, a submarine, a porthole. And it, it is held on by screws here. Now on the dial here, this is, is using a, a um, some kind of Japanese quartz chronograph movement run by a battery. Um, you know, it's not that bad of a movement. It actually functions. All the buttons work and all that. Um, we do have three sub dials. We have a 30 minute counter. And then we have 12 a 12 hour counter. Um, I don't know why it doesn't work like a 12 hour counter, but you know it's a 30 to 40 dollar watch, so. And at the top, you have, um, you know, a sub-dial that spins around for one minute, I believe. Uh, we have a date over at 3 o'clock. As you can see, it is legible. And, um, you know, they really, the design is pretty uh, spot-on. We do have that nice kind of block design on the dial here. We do have a tachymeter uh, reading over here, too, on the um, outer portion of the uh, watch dial here. You know, it's just really nicely finished. Um, if you look at that, we have polishing on the bezel here, and then we have brushing on these sides. Obviously, you cannot change the strap on this watch, but the rubber strap that it comes on is really nice. I really got to say, it's very comfortable. There's no need to worry about that. It comes with a signed buckle as well. We have two safety uh, holders here, and this is kind of you know fitted exactly to the this exact piece. It does have a hard lex crystal, which is not bad. Um, I believe there's loom on the hands, and that's about it. Now, the uh, buttons here, as you can see, just like the Royal Oak Offshore, we have the, your uh, chronograph buttons here, your crown here. It's only 30 meters water resistant, it says, but I probably wouldn't take it swimming if I were you. And uh, to function the watch, it's really simple. You uh, pull the crown out. It's a bit hard to get this crown out sometimes, but the first position is your date, and then the last position is going to be your uh, time set. And it's a pull and push crown. Now the chronograph. Um, I'm going to show you how it does function. I'm going to start it. As you see, that one starts spinning around. This one starts ticking. And uh, but it does count 30 minutes on on here exactly. I'm not exactly sure what these two are for. And we have your seconds uh, hand here in red. Now I'm going to stop it and then reset it. Okay. Now the case back. It's kind of funny because. Um, it looks like it was kind of, I don't know, looks like they kind of messed up on the one here, Royal One Offshore. Um, not sure about that. It says 50 meters, but I don't know, it states 30 meters on the on the website. It does say D-Done on the strap over here. Really good quality. Uh, the finish on this thing is really crazy for this price. I mean, it's definitely better finishing than something like a, it feels like better quality than something like a Seiko or something. It uh, really does. It's quite heavy too. Um, solid, complete solid stainless steel. And this is held down by screws also. So yeah, um, you know, it's really not that bad of a watch. If you're looking for something, you don't want to buy a replica watch, right? Because nobody wants to wear a replica watch. So technically, if uh, I'm going to put it on my wrist right now. If you want something that is not a replica watch, because replicas are bad, and uh, this watch, you know, it's basically a homage watch. 
and um, it looks quite nice on the wrist. I was kind of, um, you know, just curious to see what you actually get for 40 or $30, and I was really surprised. Um, it's definitely a larger watch. It's about, I would say it's about 45 millimeters. Um, strap is really comfortable, though. I do like the strap. But yeah, here it is, the D Dunn, a homage to the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore. Um, interesting watch here. Yeah, so thanks for watching this video. Definitely uh, leave me a comment if you uh, want to share something about this watch. Or uh, definitely subscribe to this uh, random channel here. Alright guys, take it easy now. Bye.